scalpel, scalpel, suture, suture. Father, you want to come over here and uh, do your thing? Oh my, you don't think he's going to die, do you? Hawkeye? No, Father, just, uh, you know, a little reassuring. Wouldn't be bad. I'll do my best, Hawkeye. By the way, Padre, we're having a poker game tonight later on. Uh, maybe you should like to join us. Do you have a few bucks burning a hole in my pocket? Good, uh, Quarter Annie? Quarter Annie? Oh my, Hawkeye, I don't know if I could do that one. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Padre. We'll spot you a few. Alright, BJ, a little bit more uh, anesthesia here. Turning up the anesthesia, Colonel. Ah, yeah, I want in on that poker game, if you don't mind. Hey, no problem, Colonel. You always have an open chair. Hmm, oh, I tell you. This time of year always reminds me of deer hunting back in Missouri. Really, Colonel? You're quite the hunter, eh? Oh, my, yes. Pheasant, duck, geese, rabbit, squirrel. You better believe we ate well back in Missouri. Scapple? Scapple? How's the pressure holding? Doing well, Colonel. My dad tried to take me deer hunting once. Couldn't do it. Just a look in that, that doe's eyes and trying to pull the trigger. Scissors. Scissors. Oh, I got teary-eyed, did you? Nah. Just a little buckeye fever. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Hawk. Alright, BJ, ease up on the anesthetic. Easing up on the pressure. Actually, I learned a lot about surgery uh, from my dad. Oh, was your dad a surgeon? I thought he was some sort of uh, specialist. Oh, not from his doctor work, Father. You see, my dad, who used to kill deer and other animals, he used to skin them and clean them, cut up their insides, and I would watch him cut the animal's insides and be interested by it. I was hooked ever since. I've been known to do some pheasant hunting myself. Did you hunt with a rifle or a shotgun? Shotgun. Scatter shot. Creel silk. Creel silk. Silk. Tell you, we did quite a bit of hunting in my day as well. In fact, I'm looking forward to getting back to the States for some good old-fashioned duck hunting. Better be careful, Father. You might run afoul. Tweezers. Tweezers. Plenty of deer roaming these hills. But unfortunately, there's also a lot of landmines out there. A fella could really get hurt just deer hunting. Yeah, I've seen quite a few with, and, and, and wind up in here, Colonel. Well, although I will admit, venison is good eating. And we could use a good few steaks around here. Not that I recommend anybody go hunting, especially across all those landmines. Don't have to worry about me, Colonel. I'm not the type. Nurse, can we get some orange juice over here, please? Oh, is deer hunting too beneath you, Charles? No, of course not, Honeycut. I enjoy a good hunt just as much as the next man, but you see... Attention, attention all personnel. Due to... Due to temporary truce, the casualties will be slow this next couple days. I repeat, a temporary truce is in section. That is all. Music to my ears. Oh boy, you could say that again. Perhaps I will get in some fishing this weekend. Hey, that gives me a good idea to, to feed Sophie. Gives me a good idea to ride Sophie. Could use a good fresh air and a little bit of exercise. Suture. Suture. Well, Colonel, since you're in a generous move, how about a mood? How about a two-day pass to Tokyo? 
Hey, don't take my idea there, BJ. Well, why can't the two of you take a two-day trip to Tokyo? I don't see why not, especially as slow things are going. Why don't you guys shove off right after this? Oh boy, that sounds good, Colonel. You mean it, Colonel? Why, of course. Uh um. <clears throat> what about me, Colonel? Ah, uh, we still might need to keep at least one surgeon around in case one of us has an accident. Oh, well, I see how things are. Scissors. Scissors, Doctor? Besides, BJ and Hawkeye have more time in. It just makes sense. If you want, you can come horse riding with me. Thank you, no. I think I'll just enjoy my records and have a little rest and relaxation right in my tent. We'll have a little rest and relaxation without Charles uh, talking our ear off. And playing his records really loud. I guess there goes that poker game. Cheer up, Padre. There's always plenty of time to lose your money. Oh, Hawk. I don't plan on losing. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last one. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hey, do you want me to drive? Oh, heck no. Come on, Hawk. Coming, I'm coming. What took you so long? Well, I had to pack the essentials. You know, martini glasses... Untan lotion, oversized novel novelty glasses, fake nose and mustache. You gotta have the fake nose and mustache. Why, of course. <laughs> Hold it, guys. Huh? What's up, Colonel? Oh, nothing. Just thought I'd stop out and wish you guys good luck. Yeah, tell me about it. We're going to need it. I hear it's bombing season this time of year. It's always bombing season, Hawk. It's bombing season around here. No, um, I was wondering if you could do me a favor and bring me back a bottle of scotch from Tokyo. I don't know, Colonel. That's an awful tall order. So is the scotch. Gentlemen, I have a question. It appears as though I have a few records missing. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Ah, uh, gee, Charles. We don't like your kind of music. Yeah, I mean, we listen to stuff like jazz and rat tat tat and, you know, normal human stuff. Uh, one of those records happens to be jazz. Well, gee, Charles. Uh, we would like to sit here and talk, but, uh, gotta get going. To the loo. Oh, really? So long, suckers! Ha <laughs> ha! Charles, just the guy I wanted to see, Major Winchester. Um, yes, sir? What can I help you with? Well, it seems as though you put a rec requisition form for a, um, 20-gauge shotgun... Am I correct in assuming that you're planning on doing some deer hunting? Why, no, Colonel, not I. I was just merely thinking about taking up target practice. Well, why are you taking up this target practice? Perhaps you would be a little bit more careful to remember the words that I issued you. Nobody in this camp is going to partake in any kind of hunting of any kind. And that's a direct order. And do I make myself clear? Major Crystal, sir. Well, now that you see it my way... I'm glad you see it my way. And besides, you ain't going to be able to get up early in the morning to go hunting. You're going to be up all night in pre-op. I mean post-op. What do you mean I'm going to be up all night in post-op? I thought we've already taken care of those. Well, as you recall, 
Major, there were previously wounded earlier on, while well, those are in post-op right now. That is the very definition of post-op, you know. Colonel, I was not aware of that. Well, with our two head surgeons going on R&R, &R, it's going to be up to you and me to watch these young lads and post. Oh, great. So, just buckle in. It's going to be a long night. Oh, there's no escape from this hell hole, is there, Colonel? None that I can see. Well, I'm off horse riding. But the... Huh. Why, that no good for nothing sneaky son of a gun is at it again. An erect position form for a man a landmine sweeper. Well, I better get over to radar with this. <sighs> Busy work, type this, type that. Gee whiz. Radar. Yes, Colonel? What's that silly hat you got on your head, son? Oh, well, it's to keep the sun out of my eyes, sir. Sun? And here? Well, sometimes it does seep through the, the tent, sir. The cloth material is... Radar, this is made out of solid steel. What are you... Sorry, sir. Anyway, what I'm doing here is I hear that Major Winchester put in a requisition form for a metal detector to sweep for mines. Is that true? Uh, gee, sir, I don't know. I got the paperwork here on my desk somewhere. Oh, no, wait a minute. I already sent it off. Oh, no, Colonel. Was I not supposed to send it off? Well, Radar, it's not your fault. But I want you to inform Major Winchester that I said for him to get his keister in my office as soon as he's done with post-op. Oh, gee, do I have to, sir? Why, of course you have to, Radar. That's an order. Uh, very well, then. But Major Winchester can be really difficult to talk to at times, you know? Well, just tell him old Colonel said, meet him in, in his meet him in my office. Boy, that's a tongue twister. You can say that again, Colonel. No, actually, I can't, Radar. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be in my office. Send him in right away. Yes, sir. Well, that seems to be the last of the patients. They all seem... My word, what seems to be the problem with this one here? Well, if you'd look at the chart, you'd know that, Charles. Well, excuse me, Houlihan, but the chart doesn't appear to be here anywhere. Look on the other end, Charles. Huh? Oh, yes, that is. Hmm. It seems as though this patient had 40 cc's of morphine about... Three hours ago? I'd say he's about due. He hasn't even told you he's in pain yet. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, are you in pain? No. Okay. Uh, Mr. Winchester? Uh, Mr. Winchester, sir? That's Major Winchester to you, you puny simpleton. Gee whiz, uh, mi uh, uh, Major Winchester, I meant. Sorry, sir. Ah, oh, that's okay. We all make mistakes, Radar. Right now, what do you want? Colonel says as soon as you're done with post-op to come to his office immediately. Well, I'll have you know that I am quite busy here, and I don't intend to go to the Colonel's office anytime soon. Colonel says if you don't appear in his office, it's your butt, Major. Pardon my French. Oh, very well. Is that all you have to say to me? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then get out of here! Oh, gee whiz! 
Enter. I know you wanted to see me, sir. Yes. What's this about you requisitioning a form about metal detectors? What did I tell you about going deer hunting in that area? But, sir, it merely is making it safer for me. I don't care if you use shoot magnets. I told you not to go deer hunting, and that's final. You disobey this direct order, and you're going to be serving time in Fort... You're going to be doing time in Leavenworth. Do you understand that? Do you capiche? Do you comprende? Um, no, but I do understand. You know what I meant, Winchester. All right, Major. Dismiss. Get your hiney back in tiny. I, yes, sir. Kind on his blasted rules. I resent what he just said to me. Major Winchester, this man needs attention. All right, Major. I'm coming. What seems to be the trouble? His fever just will not break. Well, so give him a few cloths of damp alcohol. Chocolate, packages, chocolate, packages, get your packages here. Linger, what on earth are you doing? Delivering chocolate bars to the men, sir. Hmm, perhaps you'll be some use to me after all. Klinger, what are you doing laying on that patient? Sorry, sir. As soon as you said I'm in some need, I fainted. <laughs> well, get up from there, damn it. Perhaps you and I can cut a deal. You've been a, um, a clerk before, no? Why, of course. When radar ain't around, I'm the main guy. So you could probably get me the things that I need? Why, of course. Oh, that depends on what you need, sir. You know, I may wear a dress, but I ain't that way. <laughs> Clinger, please. I hardly have time for these shenanigans. Now listen, now here's what I want you to do. And here's what I'm going to do. Okay, so tomorrow morning, I'm wanting to go... What the? It is. Go away. I'm trying to sleep for the morning time. Jeez. Louise. Ah, uh, Major Winchester, it's me, sir. All right. Very well, then, Klinger. Get in here. You want Klinger? Well, Mr. Uh, Major, I hate to disturb you, sir, but you did say to stop by the tent tonight. And I figured since we're going hunting in the morning and I'm going to be your escort... Well, I figured maybe I'd spend the night here. Thank you. No, I would appreciate it very much, Klinger, if you stayed the night in your own tent. I finally uh, got rid, rid, my, rid myself of those pesky roommates. I do not wish to have another. Oh, come on, Major. I did get you the jeep. The bullet you asked for? The shotgun? You got all that stuff, Klinger? What about the minesweep device? Well, you gotta be warned, Major. This minesweep device thing may not work exactly how we expect. It is a brand new invention, you know. Very well, then, Klinger. But don't do anything weird in the middle of the night. I don't do anything more weird than usual, Major. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Wondering if I might have a belt from the steel before going to bed. You know, sort of like an incentive to go to bed. Do whatever you wish, Klinger. Just leave me out of it, please. We have to be up early in the morning. That's when the deer tend to scatter. Oh, very well, Major. Here's how.
Oh, here's mud in your eye, Major. You're going to have my fist in yours if you don't go to bed. Gee whiz, you don't have to be pushy. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Boy, that stuff sure is stout. I don't know how the captains could drink it on a daily basis. I guess you just got to be used to it. You've had your belt. Will you please go to bed? Aw, oh, gee, Major. Can you tell me a bedtime story? A bedtime story? Klinger! And all right, I know. Good night, Major. Good night, Klinger. Ah, oh, doggone it. I forgot to put my nightie on. Klinger! Where is that stupid Klinger? Klinger, stop it! What's the matter with you? You're gonna wake up the whole camp, Klinger. Well, I had to let you know I was here, sir. Oh, great. What does this guy want? Get the mine sniffer in the back, sir. The shotgun? Check. All right, then. Let's go on the hunt. What's going on, guys? Oh, great. Radar, would you please get out of the road? What? what what's with the Jeep? We're going hunting. Oh, great, Klinger. Why don't you tell the whole camp while you're at it? Yes, we're going hunting. Would you please get out of the way? I can't let you do that, sir. You got strict orders from Colonel Potter not to. Well, Colonel Potter isn't here. Now, would you please move out of the way before we run you over? Uh, I don't think uh, I'm going to run him over there. Please let me go with you to make sure you're safe. Thank you. No, Klinger, step on it. Right away, sir. Way, Klinger, that way. Oh, jeez, Louise, I better get Colonel Potter. Mildred and horse. Oh, what the hell? Colonel, wake up. Huh? Or what the hell's going on here? I haven't even had my morning coffee yet. Well, gee, sir. It's, um, Major Winchester. Major Winchester? What about Major Winchester? He and Klinger took a jeep to go hunting. I knew he would pull something like this. All right, Radar. All we can do is send out a down at all points bolt into the MPs. Maybe they could stop him along the way. Sorry to wake you, Colonel. It's okay. I was about to do my morning calisthenics anyway. But gee, Colonel, I've never seen you do cal... Of course I do calisthenics every morning. I do brief exercises of push-ups and jumping jacks. Okay, Colonel, if you say so. All right, all right. The point is, let's get to the office right away. Gee, I sure hope Winchester and Klinger are okay. Ah, yes. Good old nature. Nothing like it. Well, at least it's a cool, crisp day, sir. All right, Klinger, get the sweeper and get the sweeping. Uh, who, me, sir? Yes, you, Klinger. All right, Klinger, let's keep going till we find a good hiding spot. Uh, are you sure I ought to do this, sir? Of course I'm sure. Sir, I sure hate to sound like an insubordinate, but you do know the reason I wear the dresses is to get out of the army. Of course I do. That's your stick. Well, it's not just my stick, Major, but it just so happens I prefer not to get killed. 
Let's keep going. We're almost there. The chances of us finding landmines, uh, I would say are pretty high, sir. Look, there's some brush over there. Let's just squat down over there nicely, and we'll wait for the deer to come out. How about that, Klinger? That sure sounds a lot better than getting blowed up by a landmine, sir. Just come on, Klinger. All right, all right. Just keep a lookout for him. Thing back from i yet, Colonel? Ah, uh, no, Radar. They've been busy hunting them down all day. Boy, the nerve of that Winchester. I tell you, if I didn't need surgeons so bad, I'd... Oh, uh, here's your coffee, sir. I'll just set it on my desk, son. Thank you, Radar. Anything else, Colonel? Anything else, sir? Ah, uh, see if you can get a hold of Honeycutt and Hawkeye. They're due back by tomorrow, but maybe they'll come back early to help to help out around here. You know, I can report that fool as AWOL. Sir, number one AWOL. Well, you better get back to business, Radar. I'm sorry to hold you up, son. Oh, no, think enough of it, Colonel. No one's madder than you. the only one mad at that Winchester, uh, Major Winchester, sorry, sir. That's okay. And I can't believe Klinger and him are in cahoots. Well, sir, I'll keep on the phone with i -Core. Maybe they can come up with something. You do that, Radar. And I'll keep doing as much as I can for my end as well. I tell you, when they get back, they're both going to be confined to quarters. In the same quarters? No, Radar. Ah, uh, gee whiz, Major. We've been out here in the woods for hours now, and still no sign of any deer. Quiet, Klinger. I think I hear something. I sure hope it's not the enemy. Look at that. What a magnificent buck. Well, go ahead and shoot it, sir, and let's get out of here. All right, just let me line up my shot. Klinger, it's looking right at us. All right, take your shot already, sir. Hold on, just let it get a little bit closer. Hey, dear, say your prayers. Ow, that was a hell of a shot, sir. Klinger, that wasn't me. That was the enemy. Oh, good God. Let's get the hell out of here. Klinger, go get the jeep now. Go. Ah, sir. Gee whiz, this is one rough road. Let's just hope we get home in one piece. Oh God, Klinger, what are we going to do? Well, I'll say one thing. This is going to be a hell of a way to get me discharged. Forget about discharged. We're going to get court-martialed. Sir, a jeep was just spotted coming in on the compound. They think it's Major Winchester and Klinger. Well, my golly, what are we waiting for? Let's go kick their butts. Could I just say rear end, sir? Radar. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Colonel, sir. Yes, let's go. Here they come. Come on, Radar. Let's get them. Yes, sir. Watch where you're going! Ah, gee, sorry, sir. Molly, they took out the sign. Hey, you two! What's going on here? I do say, oh my lord! What the hell's the matter with you guys? I should have the both of you court-martialed. Oh, my foot. My aching foot. 
What the hell's the matter with him? He fell out of the jeep trying to get away. Next thing you know, he twisted his ankle on some rock while they, we were getting shot at. Holy cow, you guys are getting shot at? Well, more like getting mortared. Well, you know what they say, the mortar, the merrier. Oh, geez, sir, that's really kind of in bad taste, you know. All right, get him inside. We'll patch up his foot. We'll save the court-martial for later. Ah, gee, much appreciated, sir. Radar, escort these gentlemen inside. I use the term loosely, very loosely. Yes, sir, come on, sir. Let's get your foot all patched up. Colonel, is everything okay? It is for now, Father. However, I'm afraid the pain that he's going to be suffering after I get through with him will be a lot worse than the pain in his foot. Oh my! This sounds horrible! Hey, damn Skippy, Father. Oh, sorry, Father. <laughs> She's in many happy returns. Ha 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 ha! Hey, what the hell am I doing driving? I shouldn't be driving. I'm fishlogged. Yeah, you're fishlogged, all right. But you know what? Is more fishlogged than fishlogged? How about a potato? <laughs> hey, Hawk, what happened to your luggage? What luggage? The luggage you came in on. Oh, that luggage. Well, maybe it got fishlogged too. Well, I'll be glad to go in and go to bed. Yeah, I sure hope Charles has had a good time, huh? Why are you suddenly worried about Charles? I don't know, because if he hadn't had a good time and we had a good time, then we're not going to have a good time if he's not having a good time. You know what I mean? I think I know exactly what you mean. I know what you mean. Well, let's go inside, buddy. Hey, don't call me, buddy. That's awfully cruddy. Well, at least it's not slutty. Did you just say I was slutty? No, honey. Now go inside. Okay. Say, does this look different to you, Hawk? No, it's the same old flap flap. You mean flat temp flap. Flap flap. Oh, uh, what did I say flat flip for? I don't know, because you're a flat flipping fool. Yeah, well, I'll say that ten times fast. <laughs> yeah, oh, whoa, whoa. Is there something different in here, Hulk? Uh, I'd say. The place is all cleaned up. Yeah, I'm not used to that. Hey, what's going on with Charles? Charles is exactly how we left him. Aw, oh, cruddy, and... Hey, what's going on with your foot, Charles? What's going on with your foot, Charles? Don't you dare touch it. But I'm a doctor. Ah! Hawk! Oh, sorry, Charles. Yeah, Charles has got the snarls. Hey, you're sleeping in my bed. Oh... I thought it felt funny. It felt funny because you look like a bunny, honey. No, your name is Honey Honeycut. Hey, that's a funny name, Honeycut. You're one to talk, Hawk. <laughs> Hawk. Oh, shh. There's somebody at our door. Well, then you better answer the door. It's very rude to ignore the door. <coughs> what was that noise? Please, gentlemen, will you please keep it down? I better go to the door, Charles. It's Colonel, what's his name? Oh, you mean Potter? Yeah, go, Colonel, come on in, Colonel. Here, say, hey, honeycut. Good to have you back. I would offer you a drink, but looks like you boys have had a snoot fool. I just came by to check on Jackass's foot over here. <laughs> That's right, he is a jackass. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm Hawk, that's not nice. 
What do you mean it's not nice? Well, you're not showing him proper respect. It's major jackass. Oh, yeah, major jackass. Oh, Winchester, what do you have to say for yourself? I will never disobey your orders again. Good. I'm glad you learned your lesson. Uh, Huck's in the wrong bed, sleepyhead. And you guys, for you two. Uh, we'll talk in the morning. Okay, Colonel. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Hawkeye. Wait a minute. I'm Hawkeye. I'm not going to lie, you're a hell of a guy. Good night, gentlemen. See you can find the quarters as soon as that foot heals. But, Kuno, haven't I suffered enough? Oh, no. You have not far begun to suffer. Good night, gentlemen. I guess it's time to yeah, go to bed. Yeah, there's nothing more to do than go to bed. Go to your own bed, Hawk. Ah, my foot! Ah, again! Will you two imbeciles please go to bed? Well, don't be like that, Charles. We're trying to go to bed. Yeah, you dizzy head. Oh, speaking of dizzy head. BJ, the room is spinning. Which way is it spinning? Uh, clockwise. How about you? Mine spinning counterclockwise. Well, if we put both our two clocks together, we'll have one clock spinning the right way. All right, gentlemen. I guess I'm going to my own bed. Ah! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm here to stay. All right. <laughs> Good night. Girls, what are you done laying there on the floor? Oh, go suck an eggshell, honeycut. Good night, Charles. Good night, everybody.